What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Ludus. It's time for us to play a little bit more Gladiator School. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And actually I think I'm gonna go hire a slave today. We got some money. I'm gonna do a pit fight too. So let's do the pit fight first. And then we'll send him in. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna go in for free because I gotta earn some cash here. This guy's pretty good, but he's gonna run out of stamina pretty quick, so we should be able to knock him out without too many problems. As far as his weapons go, tactics, he's going to be balanced. We're going to give him no pressure, so he's got the stamina buff because this guy's weakness is stamina. So picking no uh, picking no pressure is going to be the best way to get the... Oh, he's dual wielding Gladius is like a badass. What a dude. Oh, we both blocked on the first turn. I took the first debuff to my damage. Oh, taking serious debuffs to my damage. This guy is actually... We're going to get some damage off right here, which is nice. But he's actually nerfed my character to a significant extent by just blocking damage for the first little bit. And so we got the win out. That's fine. As long as... Ooh, my rib is hanging out, dude. That's no good. It was a good fight. He suffered a minor head injury. I can live with that. That's no biggie. Ten wine for that one right there. Hell yeah. Ain't no reason to whine about that. Sounds good to me. Got ourselves a little bit of gold on ice and lined up. My loot is champion. Probably... Looks like he leveled up his damage, and then it looks like he's hungry right now. Stamina looks about the same, though. Let's get him chilling out in the pool for a little bit. And then once he's hanging out here, what I'll do is I'll take him up, and we'll get some training in for the day so that he gets better at something. I don't really know what to shove his training into. I'm thinking more damage, just because those damage buffs are... I'm sorry, those damage debuffs you get from, like, for example, if you get blocked, it tires your arms out, but at the same time, if your opponent gets blocked, it tires his arms out. Uh, if you form a strike on a turn where he passes, it seems like it nerfs him a little bit. I'm not entirely privy to, like, how the different debuffs and the different things happen in combat. All I know is that they do happen. And so I gotta keep an eye on it going into the future. I'm probably not gonna train his HP too much. I'll probably... Actually, he took a lot of damage on that fight. It might be a decent idea to do so. Uh, let's get some boosts in real fast so that he can get up to, like, maybe 20 damage or so. Keep him cooking as far as that's concerned. There's the plus one damage right there. His mood is good, so I don't think I have to worry too much about breakouts or anything like that. I don't really want the wine. That's the part that's a bummer, so I may try to sell that stuff. If I can get a little bit more uh, wine and then take it to the market and sell it, I think that's probably going to be our best plan. 40 stamina appears to be keeping his training fairly efficient and allowing him to get multiple skill points every single time he trains. That sounds good to me, and so that's probably where I'm going to leave it. We've earned a little bit of money. I want to make sure we're fighting every single day at this point to ensure that we end up with some kind of forward traction as the game goes along. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go to the market, and as far as slaves go, I was going to buy a cheap slave, and he was just going to be our janitor. He was going to clean up all the dust and the refuse and all the disgusting stuff that's laying around on the floor, all the blood, guts, and viscera that happen to accumulate, and maybe act as a sparring partner as well. If we can get somebody who's reasonably decent at fighting, I wouldn't be against it. He's got good damage buffs. His stamina is a little bit weak, but if I can use some skill points on him every day, I think he'll come around... He's already got really good health. He's got a... It looks like he's going axe and board. So yeah, we'll buy that guy for right now. He's been brought on over in the general goods market. I can sell 20 wine for 250 gold. That's probably how I'll make a little bit of money going in. For this guy, what we want to do is for our school, we want to give him a job. His job is going to be janitor from now on. Uh, we will assign... No. Uh, we will go there and jobs. We will assign him to janitor so that uh, it consumes stamina. But he's in idle mode, so he can clean up a little bit. I think that assigned him correct. Or did that not assign him? Did I need to finalize that somehow? Yeah, it's been assigned. So what you'll see is he'll walk around. What does this guy want? I don't feel so good today. Please let me stay in bed and rest. Nah, that's not how we play things over here, man. We work regardless of how this goes down. In addition, we probably want to build another bed over here. So new gladiators can be kind of expensive. But hey, you know, we've made a little bit of something over here. Uh, he's changing and doing his thing. And so what do you have going on? Oh, yeah, his damage is almost up to 20. Fantastic. And what you'll see is he'll actually chill over here. And all these little mud piles and whatnot, he'll get these cleaned up over time so that our life is a little bit easier and more taken... I don't know. It's just... It's a hygiene issue, you know? You can't be training in a fight pit that's full of dookie. Like, I keep telling them to go outside and dig a latrine, but they're like, nah. And they just do it all over the walls wherever they can. I'm like, y'all are some sick bastards over here. Y'all are some seriously sick bastards. Go chill out in a warm bath for a little bit, man. Go chill out in a warm bath. Are you hungry? You are also hungry, so we'll feed you some food. I may also make him, like, the cook. 
I may buff his stamina up so that he can be our cook as time goes along too because we do have a lot of meat left over. And getting it cooked up now that we have two guys might be a decent plan. I'm not interested in leaving a ton of scum all over the place. So maybe it'll work out. We will assign that one to Nematorius. There it is. What was his backstory? Who was he? Uh, he was born into slavery in Britannia. Well, he doesn't know any different then. He started out in bondage. He's ending in bondage. Eh, whatever. I'm sure it won't be so bad. I'm going to use one of these to make him fight in the pit. And so we'll arrange a fight right there so that we're earning money. 13, 13, and 56. This guy's about to get whomped on. This guy's about to have a terrible day. Uh, no pressure. Keep him trucking. Balance. Keep damage at 20 out of 20. And let's do this thing. With that plus one hammer, you better introduce it to his minus two face. You better take care of it. Get him. Oh, with the early block. With the 20 damage out. This poor cat just getting wailed on right now. Good lord. And there it was with an absolute decimation in the field of combat. A rock solid fight. Let's see what we got out of here. Anything? Uh, 20 wood. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Uh, Nematorius. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. We got a gladiator who got his thing done. How badly are you wounded and taken care of? You're actually not too far off. Okay, I can live with that. Keep feeding him food. Uh, you, sir, I'd like to see you on the treadmill. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost you out of obscurity and into the lead. Out of obscurity and into the lead because, ah, the boost is going to fail. Damnable boost. Why have you betrayed me, boost? That one worked, though, so two stamina is better than no stamina. I'm going to keep him trucking and running. Put him down that way. He's got stamina. Let's work on... I don't know what I want to work on right now. I guess I'll convert some food over. You go over to the grill and get it done while Nematorius trains for the day. Uh, you're going to be our cookie for right now. Our beautiful little... But are you, are you, are you like cookies and cream, you know? Are you, are you raisins? Are you oatmeal cookie? Are you like a... Are you a chocolate chip cookie? I don't know. He could be either. It kind of depends. I don't know like what kind of cookie he wants to be right now. He could be either or. Uh, he's got a request. Uh, Sign me more training or work. I am restless. Dude, you're exhausted. I can't train you any further work. You're, you're exhausted for the day. Work on his stamina for a little bit because his other stats are actually pretty good. His other stats could be a lot worse than they are right now. I'm surprised how good his stats are in all fairness. Uh, with you, I'm going to give him an action to go and sleep. Uh, because right now Cicero's using up the bathtub, so there ain't nothing for him to do anyways. Bathtub time! Spend the rest of the night for him cooking. Let's get him down here, flipping some of this meat on over so that things get done. Hopefully we don't get raided anytime soon. If we get raided, that's going to put us in a really rough spot, and unfortunately it's going to force our gladiators into a position that I don't think they're going to want to be in. Meat, meat, give us the meat. It's that thing I like to eat. That meat's a treat. I eat it in the street because that is unsanitary. There we go. So he's all good to go. Uh, get him sitting around. Get him maybe fed. Some of the foods of his labors right there. He is also hungry. So we're going to have to come up with a food solution before this goes much further. I'm thinking maybe set them up for some fights or something like that so that they can earn some more cash. But until I have multiple people that can fight every single day to earn us 200, 300 coin a day, I think that's going to put us a little bit behind the curve. Uh, he's ready to go. Go ahead and put him on the treadmill for right now. Get that stamina back up to like 18, 19. You, sir, um, I guess go train your strength. I don't really mind what you do. You can do either or. It ain't hurt my feelings none. He's going to be able to hit this right here, and he should be able to get like maximum stamina before this gets any worse for him. So you see what I mean? Like the game, the game's kind of weird like that. In that like the beginning of the game, you don't really get to do much. But like later on, as you get further into the game, you start doing stuff more actively a lot more frequently. I don't know. Some people are going to pin this as like a Newgrounds game or whatever, but I still think that it's reasonably fun after you play for like the first hour. Like after the first hour, it starts to pick up, but the first hour is undeniably slow. And then once his boost is all ready to go, we're not going to fight today, but we'll fight tomorrow. And so there we go. Ah, the boost done fail. It's okay. He'll still get average training done. No biggie, no foul. You get down here and restore yourself. I don't want to spend any money on any extra bathtubs at the moment. So hopefully you'll be out by the time Cicero's done so that we don't have people standing around doing jack shit and nothing for long periods of time. Cicero, you get your damage boosted on up? You did. Look at you over here, Cicero, being the dude, being the guy. Go ahead and jump up into here. Uh, we've got ourselves a raid. I got to pay the tribute. I can't afford to fight right now. So you go jump in the bathtub. Bathtub. Nope, don't move to sandbag. You don't have any energy right now, so the sandbag ain't gonna help you much. There we go. 
Perfect. Lost a little bit of cash, but hopefully we'll be able to make it back tomorrow. I'll put him into actual like arena fight so that we can gain a little bit of... I might be able to put him into a real fight too. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. As soon as Cicero's out of the bathtub doing his thing, we'll start rotating him back around. Stamina's at 20. That's not bad. I'm going to try and work it up to about 40 just like Cicero. And once it's up to 40, I'll start training him on some other stuff. You hop into the bathtub, sir. Uh, you... Work on your HP a little bit. Work on your HPs just a little bit. Say, Jesus, I need the mage pieces. I hope I can work out without suffering from sneezes. Because sneezes in times like this. I'm always convinced that in antiquity, if you had a sneeze, that meant you were just going to die of a horrible disease. You sneeze once and you're like, oh, God, I've got the scarlet pox. And I'm like, yeah, that's the way it goes, man. It's a terrifying world you live in where ain't nothing work out to specification. Everything works out horribly for everyone in antiquity. And there's nothing you can do about that. Oh, work that stamp. Oh, he got no pips from that go. Bad luck, dude. Real bad luck. Well, he got one pip out. And as soon as he's done, that puts us at 1 in the morning. Everybody go to bed so that you get maximum strength, maximum everything for the morning. All right, so it's the morning. I'm probably going to treadmill him on up. Give him two boosts, but we'll do a pit fight first. Travel to the arena and rage a fight for Cicero so that he gets stronger. Dude, that's an ass whooping right there. I think Cicero's about done with this tier of fights. We'll keep him balanced, no pressure. And let's just bang this out real fast so that we get the money and we can move forward. Double blocks on both ends. The crowd is not going to like that because they're both turtling like little punks. Come on, keep it going. I need this dude knocked out, and I need him knocked out quick so we can earn that money. I'm going to put him in the bathtub, and we'll try to get another fight in. Ooh, good performance. Nice. Very solid. I think that gives him five skill points, too, so he should be able to upgrade something. Sturdy plus one. Okay, very nice. I don't know how that affects anything, but you know, whatever. Uh, we're going to boost you one time. Okay, put you inside of there. And I'm going to send him out to fight one more time. Oh, Cicero's good to go. Okay, we'll give him another pit fight then. I need to earn some money. Uh, let's go arrange a fight for Cicero. There it is. Should be an ass kicking. Should be nice and easy. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? Uh, put him on aggressive. I like aggressive. Let's do aggressive. Let's see if he can go in and just like ace this dude nice and early. Oh, look, he's got little plated gloves on now. Look at you being all fancy. Oh, he tried to get me with a combo attack. I can't live with that disrespect. That disrespect right there. He needs to go. Solid performance. Another 50 bucks. Come on, give me that chest. I want what's in there. I got a bear? What the hell does a bear do? Can I sell it? That's all that I care about. Let me go to the beast pen. I don't even have a beast pen because it costs 300 wood. What the hell do I need a bear for? Can I sell him? Like, can I go to the market and sell my bear? Ooh. Yeah, 420 coins for a bear. Sounds good to me. On the general goods, I'll probably go in then and we'll buy a little bit of meat to get that stocked back up. I'll probably buy a little bit of wood. Sounds good. Buy that meat if I could. Put him down there. And since you're fine, go cook us up some dinner, bro. Uh, you've earned it. Go make yourself some steaks. You've definitely earned it. You've earned it, like, times ten. So do your thing, brother. Do your thing. Put him in the bathtub. Nematorius, he's cooked up a couple of meats. Uh, go back over here and cook us some more food. Actually, yeah, cook us up some more meats. I don't have a problem with that. Keep flipping those meats. And then we'll start worrying about what we want to do with everything else, too. It'd be cool if these little tasks that he does on the side actually ended up giving him some kind of concurrent bonus, too. But it don't. I'll go sleep, pal. Go rest for a little bit because that's closed off anyways, too. You can't do anything with it. I probably will just reward my guys. Earning a bear for me right there is amazing. That 420 gold really kind of moved us up the chain a little bit. Uh, go work on your damage until tonight. Go work on your damage. Keep that thing trucking on up because it looks like... Premier skills. He's got seven of those as well. So with his skill points, let's raise his weapon mastery. What did that do for us? Melee attacks have a chance to stun the opponent for one turn. Well, that's 100% fantastic. I don't even know what to say about that. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. As far as his profile goes, I'm not gonna re rank I'm not gonna rename him or anything like that. He's the champion. He is the champion. He is the champion. No time for losers, cause he is my champion. Smacking bags. There we go. And I guess I'll give him a job too. Inside the school, his job will be to uh, cook food. 
whenever he can. So he's going to be a chef on the side. So then anytime I don't have him assigned to anything and he's just like ready to go, actually, everybody should probably go to bed because it's late and he's not going to be able to fight today if I don't do it. He might be able to fight though. He's actually not in rough shape. He might be able to do something for us. Earn a little bit of cash. Let's run some boosts on him just to give him the advantage as far as damage goes. His advantage is damage. Come on. Keep doing it. Very nice. One more over here. Give us that big boost. One damage. Come on. There it is. And so at nine damage, he's actually not so terrible at fighting anymore. He's pretty good. So I'm going to leave him idle. Let him do his thing for right now. Don't have him on auto train or anything like that because I don't think he needs it. Uh, his damage is good. I might actually assign him to sleep maybe? I don't know. Nematorius, go jump in the tub, bro. I'm trying to I'm trying to occupy myself with you right now and make sure that my second guy is an up and comer. Cicero has a problem. I wish to speak to you. Can I have some wine? I need some wine. All right. Yeah, I mean, you're sleeping right now, so I guess I can just roll it around your mouth like ooh boo 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 and just like dump wine into your mouth until you're good to go, but I don't know if you're going to enjoy that intensely. You probably wake up with some weird teeth stains too. Might be problematic, but hey. Hey, his stamina went up good. Very nice. Uh, since we're training anyways, go ahead and chop me up some wood over here, amigo. Get that thing done while he trains. I'll probably try out the sparring action pretty soon, too, and just kind of see what happens with that. 40 stamina, probably not going to get us that far, as far as the stamina pool is concerned, but we can actually afford another bathtub, so I'm going to do that. Give me another bathtub over here so they can both chillax for a little bit. Yup, into the bathtub. And what does it cost me to upgrade a bathtub? Creating a bathtub is 250 Okay. Uh, you keep running on the treadmill, pal. I need you to be training around the clock. And so if you're looking for something a little bit different from Domina, but kind of similar, uh, it doesn't have the crazy graphics, like the super awesome, amazing pickle, uh, pixel art. It's pickle art. Uh, he doesn't have the amazing pixel art that uh, Domina has. But at the same time, it's still another Gladiator game. And frankly, I've been starved of Gladiator games lately. I just have not had access to them, and I love gladiator games. Anything that has to do with ancient Roman gladiators makes me happy. And so, the more gladiator games that see the sunlight, the happier I am. Back up again with a brand new day and a brand new dance to get you out your pants. Uh, today, we might be able to focus on a couple of arena matches, I think. So let's go ahead and I'm going to throw somebody new into the pit. Nematorius, let's see what you can do, man. Damage is a little bit lower, but you should be able to outstamina him if you lose. I will be a little upset, but no pressure. Get some stamina in. Tactics? Let's go with balanced. We'll spectate it. Maybe Nematodius pulls himself through. I don't know. Mighty Nematodius, Lord of the Ring. Oh, this guy's coming out aggressive. This guy wants it, but he's going to gas out soon. He's going to have to pass a bunch of turns before he starts getting his ass whooped a little bit. Yeah, stay on him, dude. He can't hit you, so as long as you've got that stamina bonus... You should be able to get in there and get him took. Yeah, he's looking a little bit rough right now. I think we're going to have this one. I think we'll have this one. Crowd meter's going down because the fight's taking too damn long. And they don't like it when the fight takes too damn long. They like it when somebody gets knocked out nice and early. And luckily, he blocked on the turn that I'm passing, which means that I'm getting damage and he just can't recover. And so there it is. Nice. Nematodius gets his first win. Hopefully, he's not wounded. We broke that guy's arm. It was a mediocre fight that people didn't enjoy very much. But he got an improved plus two axe out of it. I would love if the graphic would change when he got that. That would be something that would make me super happy. I'm going to throw in for another pit fight real quick. You're looking a little bit rough, man. Here, you, you go rest for a bit. I'm going to send you on out. We'll arrange a fight for Cicero as well so he can keep leveling up. We're just going to beat up on noobs this whole time until he gets stronger. So no pressure. Go aggressive. I'd like this to be over fast. 30 damage on the first swing will almost guarantee it's over fast. But what can you do? Yeah, I mean, drop him to half health with the first swing. Like, God. How does the enemy even remotely deal with that? That was a brilliant fight. Apparently, there was some level of intellectual acuity involved in that ass whooping. Uh, he got himself nothing. That's okay. I don't mind about that. I'm going to set up another pit fight, and we're going to arrange it's going to be for Cicero. Cicero, get some fights in, brother. Get some fights in. On this one, pep talk, no pressure. Get your stamina back. We're going to go full-on aggressive on this dude, too, because I'm hoping we can knock him out nice and early. Although that does kind of give him a little wound right there. Oh, he got stunned and two-shotted. What a champ. 
What a dude. Defeated Romulus the Holler. Well, that guy wasn't even a fighter. He was just a holler. Ooh, 20 wood out of that one. I'll take that. Yeah, anything that gives me a pecuniary award is perfectly fine by me. And we made some money today. And so what I think I'm going to do is let's go to the build mode first. I'm going to upgrade this one. This one's going to be like... Yeah, dude, this is going to be the sexy bath now. Ooh, he's got himself a kiddie pool now. Got himself a kiddie pool, although I think it's lacking in actual kitties right there. Wish that it had more kitties, but it ain't got kitties, so eh, what you going to do when you're living in the city? Go ahead and get over here and barbecue for me for a little while. Nematodius, go ahead and get me some upgrades so that I can start building some things. Uh, people are just going to focus on getting ourselves some housing renovations for right now. As much food as I can stack up, and then if I can get myself a whole bunch of, like, building planks, that sounds good to me, too. Cicero, you take the big pool, you take the little pool. Are you hungry right now? Oh, you're not. Great. That's fantastic. And so he should actually get his stamina back quite a bit faster than Nematodius. Uh, what does he want? I want to focus on becoming a gladiator. Don't make me the janitor. All right, I won't make you the janitor, man, I promise. Go cook us some more food. You will be like the village guy. Everybody loves the guy that knows how to cook steaks, though. Everybody knows how to be that guy. Like, I love the guy that cooks steaks and ribs and all that kind of good stuff. I don't have that dude. It's like, what do we have around here, you know? Like, how do we make our lives any better? What are these going to cost to upgrade? It's going to cost us 35 planks. Well, in a couple of days, we should be able to get that done. I don't think we have anything to worry about right there. And in fact, let's assign everybody back to their beds because they'll get their stamina and everything anyways. And both of my guys are a little bit chewed up right now, so I'd like to see both their health and their damage jump back up to max so that we can send them to the arena tomorrow to be a little bit stronger. As far as his skills go, he only has one skill point. I'll probably keep feeding him into the arena and focusing points into him while having Cicero advance how awesome we are in the greater Roman spectacle. Sounds good to me. Ah, the gear menu. That's where we can get him more awesome, I think. So, change weapon. We can level his weapon up if he has skill points to do it. It costs five, though. And so, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's slow the game down. And Nematorius. Let me have a look at you right now. Go get... Uh, actually, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Cancel that. Uh, cancel that on out. And instead, I'm going to send you to the pit for your first thing today. You aren't outclassed. It's basically an even fight. Go ahead and jump on in. Uh, we're going to give him pep talk so that he keeps his stamina. Why is his stamina nerfed from the get-go? Hmm. Raise your damage and lower your health. I think strategically that's going to work a little bit better against this guy unless he gets the first hit off. Which he didn't. And he got stunned on his first go. So there it is. Nematodius getting that battle going. Kicking it off nice and deep. Should be a knockout fairly soon. And there it is. He managed to defeat his foe. Hopefully he'll get a free level up from that. He'll get skill points if nothing else. I'm trying to get skill points up so that we can change his weapon around. Uh, he got Mermaid's Tears. The hell is a Mermaid's Tear? I don't know. Oh, it's because we didn't feed him, I bet. I bet he was hungry going into that fight. I didn't check. Yep, he was hungry. All right, buddy. Go in the big pool. You've earned it. In the league, we'll go next round. Start the fight off. Cicero, you're going to be holding it down for us right now. Oh, my God. This guy's a feeder fight. This guy is this guy is just absolutely garbage. Let's go aggressive on him. Let's just knock him out fast so we don't have to waste time looking at him. I don't like his face. I don't like what he is. And so we'll try and just skill out the amateur league right there. There it is. And so first knockout goes through. We should get a little bit of cash for that. 50 coins and a skill point. Sounds great to me. He's twitching and being kind of odd after that fight, but... Uh, that's a win for us. That takes us up in our placement. Very nice. Next fight will be tomorrow. Uh, Cicero, how are your stats looking? Health's a little bit low, but... Give him some food, and we'll take him into the pit. Cicero? I'm kind of curious how badass these guys are going to be right here, but we'll put him into the pit because I'm nervous about what those other guys are going to be. I assume that they're going to be a little bit stronger than he is. Go ahead and get this thing done, brother. We got to earn as much money as possible every day, although he's got a little wound. On his little tummy bits right there. He looks like he got like a gallbladder injury. And I don't think that's a good thing. I think that's a very, very bad thing. If he's got a gallbladder injury in this time and period. Uh, he defeated Assholius the Mute. So, whatever. I just want the money. I don't even care if I get any rewards right there. We're up to 250 right now. Uh, Nematorius, how you looking at the moment, bud? How you looking? Hungry as hell. So, get you on stamina. You, sir. Go cook us up some food for right now.
I gotta put somebody on it, and if I don't have people focusing on food, we're gonna run out in the next little bit, so let's get that job done. You only got 40 stamina. I'm thinking we're not gonna be very efficient at actually getting stuff done until we have like 100 stamina. But I like to keep my food cooked up to like 40 or 50, just so we got something laying in escrow that we can use. There we go. Get him all set in right there. You guys go get yourself a hot bath. You've earned it. Perfecto. Um, let's get you working on stamina for the day, actually. Let's get you working on stamina. You go down here and cook. Oh, we don't have enough raw meat. Well, that's a bummer. We got enough money to buy some more, though, so that's good. Well, then, fine. Uh, you go over here and focus on, I guess, training and getting stronger. Uh, you should really assign me more training or work. I am restless. Okay, you've got work going right now, so... Ask and ye shall receive, sir. Ask and ye shall receive. I'm gonna name one of my gladiators Ye, so that whenever I say that, somebody's like, oh man, every time I do something good, Ye gets the credit for it. This sucks, bro. I hate this. Uh, you go... Actually, when he finishes his training, I'll send everybody to sleep, because everybody had a fight tonight. There we go. Everybody go to the barracks and sleep for right now. I gotta get the wood back up, too, because I'd like to get something built... I don't know, a duel arena might be good. Improve all stats, sparring may cause an injury, though. Okay, so that could get expensive pretty quickly. But yeah, tomorrow we gotta go to the market and we'll lock in some of the other stuff that we need in order to be perfectly cogent as strategists here. Uh, with your stamina... We got another league fight? Yeah, let's go with a league fight. We'll go ahead and have Cicero go in. Cicero should be able to skill this guy pretty quickly. Just knock him out hella quick. No pressure. Aggressive. Go for it. Time to win again. I don't think it's going to play that way, bro. I've seen the fight card. And unfortunately... Oh, one-shotted. Absolutely decimated. Good sweet lord. No rewards for a fight like that, though. Man. We punked that dude outright. Booty Master's taking the lead right now. Uh, what you got going on, man? How are your stats looking? Hell's down a little bit. That's okay. I can live with that. Let's go to the market. I gotta buy some food. Go home and Cicero. Go train on the treadmill for a little bit. I'm actually gonna use my stuff on boost to get your stamina up. There we go. Boost him on up just a little bit. Because I need him to cook. There we go. So we got him up to 44, and now he's training to 46. Uh, you, sir, with the stamina you have available, go ahead and cook some food for us. I think it uses up the remainder of the food if you don't get it all. I, I don't know if that's exactly what's happening there, but... I don't know. We'll see how much this drops off at the end. Dropped off by a little bit. Go ahead and put them in the pools, I guess. And I think that'll be the end of our episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Gladiatorial Combat. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here. It's always fun to have an audience. I remember when I had no audience. So having one is definitely more awesome than not having one. And I appreciate all the work you guys have put in for me in order to make this channel what it is here today. I will see you all later. If you want to get the game, you can get it for yourself down below. Aside from that, hi-do and farewell, everybody. Bye.